there because I have um, a draft copy of the audit for Yay. each of you. So um, I received this Friday afternoon. Thank I have you. not gone completely through it myself. I have made it to the last page, so I have read the entire thing, but I need to go back and yeah. verify all of the numbers. Finish, finish the memorizing. Finish the memorizing. <laughs> no, not finish the memorizing. There you, you go. Can just do that. That's great. So basically, this is a refresher for everybody. What happens now is once you guys have the draft copy um, in your hands, one, uh, I, will, I was hoping that we could propose that you guys have about a week to review the draft copy of the audit. It gives me some time to finish going through it. And then once you guys accept uh, mm -hmm. the draft of the audit, then it can... You guys can take a vote hopefully next week right. at your meeting. Accept a draft, accept the draft of the audit, and then um, the auditors can go forward with uh, the printing of the audit and um, getting it up on the town's website and getting the hard copies that we need to go forward. Um, and then on December 21st, if it is appropriate and okay with the board. Uh, Scott Egan from Plaza de Sanderson, yeah. who is the lead auditor, would like to come in and do um, an exit interview, so to speak, and go through the whole audit with the Board of Selectmen, answer any questions, speak specifically on the GASB 34 yep. and GASB 45, which was also implemented um, last year, speak uh, directly to both of those, discuss undesignated fund balance, um, just as a refresher course for individuals who um, need a little bit better understanding of the undesignated fund balance and then anything else that you guys uh, may like him to discuss if you let me know that he will obviously answer any questions on the spot but if there's other um, highlights that you would like him to provide then he would be happy to do so um, at your meeting on the 21st um, this can't go um, out to print or anything until after you guys have approved it. So if it could be approved at the meeting on the 14th, I'm sure everyone would be happy because then we can get it completed and out before the end of the year. Yeah. If we wait till the 21st, we're kind of delaying it even a longer with the holiday, Christmas, and the New Year's week. So um, just in time for the town report. Yay! Right. And I know you guys are all tired and nobody wants to talk about the undesignated fund balance anymore, but I'm <laughs> going to for two seconds. Uh, can I, I ask a question before you do? Who wins? You or Mr. Pierce? Um, I had provided to the Board of Selectmen back before the tax rate was set um, information in regards to the undesignated fund balance. The auditors have to file a form with DRA, it's called, it used to be an MS-5 and now it's an MS-535. They have to do that prior to DRA setting anyone's tax rate. It's one of those things, just like they wait mm -hmm. for things from the schools yep. and the Hampton Beach Villagers, they also have to wait for that document. At that point, even though nobody had this draft copy of the audit or it wasn't available and I was probably still working on fixed assets, believe it or not, at that point, mm -hmm. they still had to provide that form and say, this is the right. town's undesignated fund right. balance as of 12 31 14 right. and at that time and it still is it was five well it has dropped since then but it was five million fifty seven thousand five hundred and five dollars yeah. since then since that was as of 12 31 14 yeah. there was a warrant article that took four hundred thousand dollars article number 38 i have made note of that and um, it was also noted when the tax rate was set, took $400,000 from the undesignated fund balance. So it brought it down to $5,057,505. Yeah. The board then took a vote to use $500,000 right. right. of the undesignated fund balance to offset taxes. So after all of that was done, the undesignated fund balance is 4 million five hundred and fifty seven thousand five hundred and five dollars so four point five is the number that Fred and I have both been throwing out here and there but it is actually four million five hundred and fifty seven thousand five hundred and five dollars um, well, zero it is more than zero and I think that the only time the undesignated fund balance is one hundred percent firm is on that day when the auditors right. 
declare it. Yeah. And so when we had that yeah. form, it was declared. And then, you know, um, as a finance director, I can tell you, you know, we've done this and we've done that. But we also know that Fred just pointed out that we're probably going to be $300,000 to the good for revenues at the end of the year. Right. That becomes part of the undesignated fund balance. Mm -hmm. But I can't tell you that it's included in the undesignated fund balance right now yeah. because I don't have that authority to do so. But in the expenditures, if there's any money left there, also will go right. to the undesignated fund balance. So just for clarification, as of right now, we know that it is $4,557,505. And when the audit was done, it was the um, higher number, the 5 million. 57,505. Would you like to respond to anything about the budget committee? No, I think everyone is very tired. And I <laughs> well said. all of the support I received from this board, and I will just leave it at that. I just wanted to clarify that um, and give you guys all the draft audit so that hopefully at your meeting next week, um, if you would like me to come, I can come. If not, Fred could hopefully get you guys to vote on that um, and then on the 21st um, Scott has already committed to coming down and he's more than welcome to he's welcome happy to come here every single year and he wishes that he would be invited every year and I told him as long as I'm the finance director I will invite him <laughs> and for your first year you do a great job I thank will you have to say Mr. I, what, I would uh, like to just say thank you very much for all the work you've done and for a great report and I'm just amazed that you know what you're doing <laughs> and it just amazes me that you can say what the figures are and you can tell us what they are yeah. and that you know what you're doing. That is an amazing feat. And I wish other people in the town would recognize that. Or I think most people do. Other boards would recognize that. Thank you. We're all working together. Thank you very oh, much. Wait, one second before she goes. Yep. Yeah, when I was talking to Scott Egan, who was, who was very gracious last week, he certainly commended you on what you're doing, but he, I, I asked him if when he comes in he could delineate the Gasby situation so the public can understand right. why we need to do these general accounting measures and he's pretty promised that right. he would. And I believe that when Mr. Bean um, reviewed in the audit, I, for, I believe for a couple of years it was just an opinion and then I think it had gotten to the point of being mm -hmm. an adverse opinion right. in the 2013 yes. audit. In adverse opinions, which Scott will Doesn't go through because I'm not an auditor, but right. when he comes in, those are the worst opinions that yeah. you can receive in an audit. And we're not so they're paying, not ones that you like to have. So. We're not paying okay. auditors to do adverse opinions. It had been in there in the audit for several years, I believe, as just oh, ten years, a regular Christy. opinion or so, but then it became an adverse opinion, I yeah, believe, right. for the first yeah. time in 13. It may have been sooner than that. Which affects so. the amount we can borrow for bonds. Oh, yes. And the big joke upstairs is that Two other finance directors were smart enough to dodge the bullet, but I got hit with it. So. <laughs> but I survived, because here I am. Good job. Well, Christy, there's no sense in paying auditors if you don't take yeah. their advice. Yeah. 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 I say we're a bulletproof vest. Okay. I'll get one of those from Richie tomorrow morning, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Very Thank nice. you, Director. Thanks, Christy.